Welcome, viewers. Uh, this is MDI International, and uh, we are here to talk about COVID uh, symptoms and how does it present. Uh, some of you have already seen our educational videos related to this illness and how this is being spread and what precautions to take. Some of these videos have been released in uh, English, uh, Arabic, Punjabi, Urdu, as well as Bengali. Um, this particular uh, 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 session is related to the symptoms itself because uh, many people don't know. Sometimes people worry about common cold and then they think they have COVID. Some people have their seasonal allergies coming up and they start worrying about these things. So today we have a panel of experts. We'll be talking about some of these symptoms. And uh, what we will do is uh, we'll have uh, first responses in English and uh, following that, we'll have uh, a summary um, translation in Urdu. Uh, so that's uh, how we are going to uh, proceed with today's session. I hope that uh, I, some of you who have uh, queries about this illness and who've been worrying about this, um, you know, common cold uh, and then, you know, having sleepless nights, you will be able to understand it a little bit better. So I'm going to start with Dr. Mavis uh, Warsi. Uh, she is a general practitioner in Calgary and uh, we are uh, pleased to have her here as a panelist. Uh, my first question to Dr. Varsi is, what are the common conditions presenting with upper respiratory symptoms, uh, such as uh, sneezing and uh, running nose, so that people understand that they, this is not just one condition, there are many. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rahman. And uh, I think that's a great opportunity that uh, through MDI platform, we all have to discuss about this COVID-19. And um, thank you for having me today in this panel discussion. So now I'll get back to the question that you have asked me. Uh, the common condition which uh, presents with sneezing, cough, these are seasonal allergies, these are flu, common cold, and uh, coronavirus. And even patients who have asthma at times with common cold, they also have cough and these symptoms. So basically, there are a list of these uh, common conditions which present as upper respiratory tract infections. Thank you very much. So, so now, obviously, you know, different people may have different um, kinds of upper respiratory symptoms, uh, sneezing, coughing, running nose, those kinds of things. So how can they differentiate between what is seasonal allergy, what is common cold, what is uh, influenza uh, versus uh, this coronavirus? Yeah, that's, that's a very great question because, uh, you know, patients are confused about the symptoms. So basically, the seasonal allergies, majority of the patients are already diagnosed with their allergies through the allergy test. Uh, some of them are allergic to dust, some are allergic to pollens. So those people who are already diagnosed with allergies or who have allergies, when uh, they present with the cough, they present with sneezing. Uh, the people who have common cold, they have mostly runny nose, they have cough, either it's, uh, it's contained mucus, which we call as wet cough. And uh, the people who have flu, they have sneezing, they have cough, and uh, uh, they have uh, weaknesses, like they feel uh, muscle pains, and uh, they also have low-grade fever. And if uh, asthmatic patients, they already diagnosed with asthma. Majority of them are on the puffers or they use the puffers as per needed basis. And with the, uh, with the symptoms of uh, runny nose, they develop uh, their uh, asthma symptoms more and their cough often get worse. And with the coronavirus, it's majority of the time mild symptoms or severe symptoms. In mild symptoms, they usually have dry cough or runny nose which can lead to difficulty in breathing, high-grade fever, and muscle aches and body pains. So these are the ways to differentiate. Still, if the patients have any query, they can contact their family physicians uh, to just differentiate between these symptoms. So obviously, you know, this season is coming up, of, uh, spring is upon us, uh, there will be pollens. Uh, mm -hmm. People will be worrying about that. So pollens uh, are everywhere. So if you open your window, you can have, you know, pollens coming into your house. So, uh, but with coronavirus, if you are, you know, isolating yourself and you're at home and you haven't gone out and your family members are also keeping the distance, 
This is a very, 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 you know, uh, unlikely uh, event that, uh, you know, people will develop coronavirus sitting at home who have not been exposed to. Uh, but obviously, you know, things can happen, such as uh, if we, somebody who has been infected comes and rings your doorbell, and uh, you know, after that, you come, go and touch that, you can certainly have that. But those incidents are really rare. You know, you don't have those things. So, you know, if you have not been exposed and if your family has not been exposed, you're unlikely to probably have coronavirus. You may have something else. Uh, the other common illnesses that you probably are going to have. Is that right? Yeah, very rightly said, because um, uh, when we talk about the prevention of coronavirus, a uh, majority of the times we are telling the patients to wash their hands and the proper hand washing. Like, uh, it's not just that they just have to wash their hands. It, uh, they have to wash it between their fingers, their uh, uh, thumbs, and 20 seconds they have to put the soap on the hand and then wash it uh, under tap water. Uh, so, you know, washing hands, avoiding crowds, don't touch your face because, you know, you are touching the surfaces. So these are the precaution measures. So it's very rightly said, Dr. Rahman. Thank you very much. So let's say somebody has some of those symptoms. Uh, you know, you have the running nose, you have sneezing, you have cough, and now you are, you know, having fever and, and uh, you know, the body ache. Um, when should you begin to worry? And when should you ask for help? Maybe, you know, now you need to go and get, you know, hospitalization or because people are going to worry about it. So are there any guidelines that you can provide that will help people? Clearly, if you are, have shortness of breath, that will be something that you should really, really worry about because that becomes a problematic symptom. So if you can give us some guidelines for general public as to when should they start to worry and when should they contact the health services for further help? Okay, so in that situation, like if anyone develops any symptoms, either it's cough, sneezing, uh, runny nose, fever. So first of all, they need to self-isolate themselves. Then there is a website, which is www.ahs.ca slash COVID, C-O-V-I-D. I repeat, www.ahs.ca slash COVID. They can go there and there is a self-assessment tool, which is online. They can fill that form. And by that, they come to know that whether they really need the swaps to be done, the COVID-19 swaps to be done or not. If they are coming in the low screening criteria, still they need to self-isolate themselves because COVID-19 has mild symptoms and severe symptoms. And uh, for the mild symptoms also, uh, they just need to be self-isolated to stay away from people. If they see that the symptom doesn't get better, uh, and one thing which is very important that in the meantime, when they're self-isolating, they are not supposed to visit to the clinics. They are not supposed to visit to the hospitals unless they have called 811 and consult them before. Very important point. Yeah. And uh, uh, when, let's say, uh, the symptoms worsen. Symptom worsens means like if they have difficulty in breathing, if their cough gets worse, if they have high-grade fever, if their muscle pains and body pains are too much, then they can call 911 for the severe illnesses and then they can get the help from them. So that's how it's a stepwise thing from severe, from mild to severe illnesses. Now, um, I'm a child psychiatrist, so I have to ask you this question. Uh, you know, when people are anxious, worried, sometimes they will develop panic episodes. And when you are panicking, uh, you know, you may be having shortness of breath, you may feel you are going to die, all those kinds of things. So I think. Uh, Again, you need to have multiple symptoms, not just one symptoms of, you know, shortness of breath coming just because you are anxious. You should have fever, body aches, uh, and shortness of breath, and a sequence that things develop from bad to worse. Only then you should worry, not just because you yes. are, suddenly you're becoming breathless. And, and one thing which is very important that, uh, you know, uh, the people, they are too much into news. Uh, you know, the information, they should just get the correct information, not too much information, just the correct information, which is very basic. And that's one of the reasons that MDI has provided this platform so that we all can discuss. So people just do the right things because, you know, if you are 
uh, you're just seeing too much news if you're talk uh, if you're just seeing a lot of uh, information which is from here and there then you get anxious as well and as you said that it's not just a single symptom it's a list of symptoms still if you have any query you can just get your self assessment too thank you is that 811 still active uh, you know do you think people should call them uh, other than filling out the forms um i have uh, just uh, you know the today's information i uh, went to the ahs website they are saying that they have uh, high volume calls but still they are responding and that's why they have created that self assessment tool uh, but they will respond but there is high volume over there thank you so thank you very much uh, dr mavish varsi this was very very helpful so you have really captured uh, what is most important for us all to know how to differentiate between these uh, upper respiratory infections uh, i'm going to ask dr zaid if you can summarize in urdu uh, about all these symptoms uh, you know what are the common different conditions in which you can have this uh, you know um, symptom complex should i say uh, of sneezing uh, um, running nose uh, cough and those kinds of things and how you differentiate and you know, how to seek help assalam alaikum सबसे पहले तो एम डी आई का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया जिन्होंने ये बहुत ही अहम और बावक्त टॉपिक जो है ये चूज किया है क्योंकि अब ये तो टाइम है जिसमें नजराज काम एलर्जीज वगैरह का बहुत ज्यादा केसेस आते हैं आई एम फैमिली फिजिशियन तो हमारे क्लिनिक में ये अब जब अप्रैल शुरू होता है अप्रैल बिगिनिंग ऑफ मई ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ज्यादा केसेज ऐसे होते हैं नजर काम के पूरी पूरी फैमिली आती हैं बच्चे आते हैं नाक बह रही है छींके आ रही हैं तो अब ये कैसे डिफ्रेंशिएट किया जाए और उसके ऊपर अब ये कोरोना वायरस आ गया हमारे पास अब लोगों की वरीज तो बहुत ज्यादा है क्या किया जाए बहुत घबराए हुए लोग आजकल जैसे आपको पता है हम लोग फोन पे कंसल्ट कर रहे हैं फोन पे कॉल करते हैं आधे से ज्यादा कॉलिंग यही होती है कि जी खांसी हो रही है क्या किया जाए मुझे कोरोना वायरस नहीं हो गया क्या करना चाहिए एट वन वन को फोन करें वो उठाते नहीं है तो थोड़ा सा जैसे डॉक्टर महविश ने बताया इंग्लिश में माशाल्लाह इस वाज अ गुड समरी तो थोड़ा सा इसको समराइज कर देते हैं आप जैसे बताया खांसी नजला जुकाम एलर्जीज होती हैं तो मेन तो आप जैसे स्नो मेल्ट हो रही है स्नो मोल्ट का भी सिलसिला शुरू हो जाता है और जिन लोगों को एलर्जीज हैं वो तो काफी जैसे बताया डॉक्टर महविश ने कई लोगों को पता होता है टेस्ट हुए होते हैं कई लोगों को टेस्ट नहीं हुए होते फिर भी पता होता है कि उनको एलर्जीज हैं बाहर निकलते हैं घास कटती है छींके आना शुरू हो जाती हैं आंखों में पानी आना शुरू हो जाता है ये सारी चीजें काफी कॉमन है तो अब एलर्जीज के साथ वही है कि खांसी होती है स्नीजिंग छिंके आती हैं तो वो सिंपल एलर्जीज भी हो सकती है फिर कॉमन कोल्ड पे आए नजला जुकाम जिसको कहते हैं उसमें अब यह कि नाक बह रही होती है बलगम आ रहा होता है खांसी भी काफी होती है लेकिन वो ड्राई कॉफ नहीं होती खुश खांसी जिसको कहते हैं वो नहीं होती हाँ जो स्मोक करते हैं उनका कई दफा होता है जिसको स्मोकर्स कॉफ भी कहते हैं वो उन लोगों को होता है बाकी जैसे थोड़ा मसल जिसम दुखता है जिसम में महसूस होता है कि थोड़ी जान नहीं है आम लफ्सों में हमारे लोग कहते हैं बस थकन महसूस हो रही है बिल्कुल कुछ काम करने को दिल नहीं करता हल्का हल्का बुखार होता है लेकिन अगर हम स्पेसिफिकली कोरोना वायरस की बात करें कोई चीजें हैं जो काफी टिपिकल काफी खास हैं कोरोना वायरस की जिसमें एक तो ड्राई कफ होगी हाई ग्रेड फीवर होता है बुखार होता है ज्यादा जो आप हाई ग्रेड की बात करें थर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव थर्टी नाइन तक चला जाता है और मसल जो है आपके असाब और मसल वगैरह जो पट्टे हैं वो काफी तनाव महसूस करते हैं उसमें आपको दुखते भी हैं काफी चलने को दिल नहीं करता लेकिन एक टिपिकल जो उसका साइन बनता है सांस में सांस लेने में दुश्वारी जो होती है वो बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है उस तक नौबत नहीं आनी चाहिए उसकी जब टेस्ट ही आपको एहसास हो कि आपको सांस नहीं लिया जा रहा और आप दमे के मरीज भी नहीं है दमे के पेशेंट्स को तो होता है थोड़ा थोड़ा सांस की मुश्किल होती है लेकिन आप दमे के मरीज नहीं है फिर भी आपको दिक्कत हो रही है सांस लेने में तो उसमें यह होता है कि थोड़े बहुत टोटके हैं जो आप घर पे चेक भी कर सकते हैं आपने इंफॉर्मेशन तो काफी देखी होगी हर तरफ से आ रहा है सोशल मीडिया पे एक तो यह है कि अगर आप सांस रोकें और गिने बीस तक गिनती गिने अगर आप रोक लेते हैं दैट मीन्स की ठीक है आप 
रफली आपका सांस वगैरह ठीक चल रहा है फेफड़े आपके ठीक हैं लेकिन अगर आप नहीं कर सकते और परेशानी भी होती है जैसे आपने मेंशन किया लोग पैनिक भी करते हैं पैनिक के सिचुएशन होती है तो उसमें आप शायद घबरा जाते हैं तो उन सूरत में बेस्ट तो यह है कि आप अपने फैमिली डॉक्टर को फोन करें वो इजिली आपको अवेलेबल है अप्रोचेबल है उसको फोन करेंगे आप ये सारी चीजें बताएंगे तो वो आपको थोड़ा सा आपको तसली भी हो जाएगी आपको आप अपनी बात कन्वे भी कर सकेंगे फिर वो अगर आपको गाइड करते हैं कि जी आप सेल्फ आइस वो जो डॉक्टर वारसी ने बताया कि जो टेम्पलेट है उसको फॉलो करें एच एस की साइट पे है एट वन वन को भी आप कॉल कर सकते हैं लेकिन आपको थोड़ा इंतजार करना पड़ेगा उसमें घबराइए नहीं टाइम लगता है और एक छोटी सी टिप मुझे एक पेशेंट ने बताई जैसे आप एट को कॉल करें जैसे ही बेल रिंग होती है तो आप फाइव दबा दें नंबर पाँच दबा दें तो फौरन कोविड लाइन पर चला जाएगा तो आपकी बात जल्दी हो जाएगी तो आई थिंक लबेल वाप तो ये है और अगर आप जैसे इतनी ज्यादा इंफॉर्मेशन है कोरोना वायरस पे बहुत ज्यादा है बहुत सारी स्टडीज आ रही हैं लेकिन अगर देखा जाए नट शर्ट समरी काफी कुछ है जिसके हमें कुछ समझ भी नहीं है कोई कहते हैं कि इसके कतरे इतने बड़े होते हैं कि फौरन बैठ जाते हैं कोई खांसी करता है कोई कहते हैं कि जी हवा में रहते हैं अभी लेटेस्ट आई है कि वो जो हवा में रहते हैं काफी देर तक बहुत ही कम है और इसी तरह इलाज के मतलब कई लोग कहते हैं जी क्लोरोक्विन इस्तेमाल करें वो कई कहते हैं प्रोफेलेक्स के लिए लें या ट्रीटमेंट के लिए लें वो भी नहीं पता जो हमें याद रखने वाली बात है जो आम पब्लिक को इवन मेरे लिए भी जो हमें याद रखने वाली बात है जो प्रिवेंशन करनी है हमने जो ऑथेंटिक है जो प्रूवन है जिसका कोई उसके अलावा कोई चारा नहीं है हाथ धोएं अपने बीस सेकेंड तक हाथ धोएं पूरे उंगलियों के दरमियान में भी और 20 सेकंड से ज्यादा भी धो लें डोर टच करें उसको क्लीन करें अपने मुंह को टच ना करें उंगलियों से आदत होती है काफी हम अनजाने में कई दफा टच करते हैं अपने फेस को तो वो कोशिश करें कि ना करें प्रिवेंशन इज द बेस्ट थिंग अपनी खुराक का बहुत ख्याल करें आप जितना हेल्दी फ्रेश वेजिटेबल वेजिटेबल्स वगैरह लें वाइटामिन सी का एक तो टैबलेट्स भी ले सकते हैं उसके अलावा आप ऐसी खुराक लें जिसमें वाइटामिन सी ज्यादा है जिसमें ब्रसल्स फ्रूट्स हैं केल है ये जो बड़ी शिमला मिर्च होती है ना ग्रीन वाली उसमें काफी ज्यादा है आपका साबुत धनिया जो है उसमें काफी वाइटामिन सी है अब ये इस्तेमाल करें लेमन जूस वगैरह इस्तेमाल करें तो एक्सरसाइज करें अपने जहन को सुकून दें इन सोशल मीडिया से ऐसी चीजें लें जिससे आपको हंसी आए कोई रिलैक्स कर सकें आप बहुत शुक्रिया डॉक्टर जायद बड़ी काम की बातें आपने एक नक्शल में बता दी और अभी तक एक और बात बताना जरूरी है कि अभी तक कोई एविडेंस नहीं है कोई सबूत नहीं है ठोस कि क्लोरोक्विन जो है इसका इस्तेमाल फायदेमंद है बल्कि क्लोरोक्विन के साइड इफेक्ट भी हैं और उसमें लोग मर भी सकते हैं तो इसलिए ये एहतियात करें खुद से खाना नहीं शुरू करें और डॉक्टर्स भी अभी तक एहतियात करें क्योंकि अभी तक की स्टडी जो है उससे साबित नहीं हुआ तो बहुत शुक्रिया आपका अब सबसे जो मुश्किल टॉपिक है मैंने वो डॉक्टर आसिम के लिए रखा हुआ था डॉक्टर आसिम आपके सफर का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप काफी देर से इंतजार कर रहे हैं और बड़ी मेहरबानी आपकी कि आप अपने मसरूफ जिंदगी के बावजूद भी आपने वक्त निकाला थैंक यू डॉक्टर आसिम फॉर बींग स्टार्ट आर कन्वर्सेशन रिगार्डिंग अदर सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस अदर देन दिस्पेरेटरी सिम्टम्स and uh, you were given a very difficult uh, topic to cover so thank you for uh, making yourself available can you tell us something about the non respiratory symptoms symptoms that are not related to sneezing coughing or chest related or upper respiratory infection what are the other symptoms of corona virus uh, or covid 19 that we are dealing with so that people can understand little bit about that as well Uh, first of all thank you so much uh, everyone for having me over um it's a, it's a great opportunity with mdi has uh, presented and as my colleagues have uh, very well said um there's lots about this uh, condition this disease that we do not know and uh, that information is evolving as we are progressing into this this disease uh, if you look at the time frame it looks like this condition has only been uh, been given to us in the last 2 to 3 months so not a lot of research is out there um but regarding um regarding it being a respiratory virus a lot of myth is around that you know that covid-19 only affects our 
uh, respiratory, respiratory systems. But uh, there is other symptoms that we have to look forward as well. And I was reading some statistics about uh, the presentations of normal people as to when they contact their doctors. Uh, what are the most common reasons for their phone calls? And it looks like whenever they have a runny nose or a sore throat or a fever, that's the time they actually call their doctors. They forget that in 38% of people, the, the, the symptom that presents most often is actually fatigue. You feel tired, you feel run down, you feel like, you know, in some people's description, in a, a patient of mine said, I felt like I was hit by a bus. That's how much fatigue they, they actually feel. On top of it, they also 15% of the people will also experience muscle aches and joint aches. These are the two symptoms which are also kind of uh, common in the influenza that you normally get. And, um, and a lot of times people often confuse the influenza with the COVID-19 pretty much because they're kind of in the same category of illnesses and they're both viral in their, uh, in their background. And that's why they have. Apart from that, um, I've also, um, I was reading a paper and they were, um, so there was an article which very clearly defined that uh, GI symptoms can also, or stomach symptoms are also a common feature of, uh, of COVID-19. Um, although only 4% of the of population presents with diarrhea, but nausea and vomiting is also a common feature that can be, or a common symptom that can actually present. And lastly, you know, headaches are also another symptom which is not relating to the respiratory. And 8% of people actually get headaches as well. So if you look, not only if you have a headache or you get muscle aches or you get fatigued and or you get a little bit of uh, diarrhea or nausea vomiting i think it's worthwhile to contact your family physician via phone call or uh, contact uh, 811 or do or do the self assessment yourself and find out if you could be suffering from covid-19 thank you very much uh, dr asim obviously this is a uh, very important subject because many people just worry about the respiratory symptoms and not think about so a large number at least one third around one third of the population presents with body aches and pains and fatigue so that's a big number uh, to really um, be um, to be ignored so it's important that we keep that in mind so thank you very much for being uh, being with us today again Dr. Asim is a, a general practitioner. He's uh, been very active in the community and has been a, a participant in uh, uh, many community educational activities through MDI International, as well as uh, on his own and through many other organizations that is, he's been part of. So thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, do you mind summarizing this in Urdu? Um, बिल्कुल um, first of all शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत आपको और uh, MDI के इस platform का कि मुझे opportunity दी आप ये चीजें को explain करने की um, COVID-19 के बारे में Dr. Zahid Rafiq ने Dr. Mavish Farsi ने काफी अच्छी information आप लोगों को दी और मैं आपको सिर्फ एक snapshot के तौर पे explain करना चाहता हूँ कि जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको नजला खांसी हो तो COVID-19 हो जैसे कि Dr. Rahman ने बताया one third Yani in between 30% to 40% of people or itne logon ko 30 se 40% logon ko actually koi symptoms nazre aur khansi ke hote hi nahi. To agar aapko um, jism mein dard ho raha hai, aapke haddiyon mein ya aapke patthon mein dard ho raha hai ya aapko bohut zyada thakavat mehsus ho rahi hai ya kabhi kabhi aapko halka sa diarrhea ya headache ya aapko um, matli ya ulti ki jaisi kafiyat ho rahi hai to zaruri nahi hai ki ye um, uh, covid 19 ho lekin ye symptoms covid 19 mein bhi maujood hote hain to apne doctor se zarur rujoo kare in cheezon ko in symptoms ko ignore na kare aur apne jitni jald ho sake iske bare mein information hasil kare taaki aapko ye uh, is bimari ka jald az jald pata chale aur uske hisab se aap apni hifazati tadabir jo aapko dr zahid ne batayi aap us pe amal kar sake thank you very much uh, dr asim uh, thank you also dr uh, uh, mavich warsi thank you dr zahid thank you mdi for uh, organizing this and uh, for the panel whole panel for being here uh, this was obviously a summary uh, and uh, we really are grateful that uh, our doctors made themselves available uh, for this very important community education series. Um, just to continue this uh, for, uh, for public, I think the MDI International is uh, thinking about having a open forum uh, through Zoom and that will take place on 
Sunday, uh, 5th of April from 3 to 4 p.m. And we will send out the information uh, related to that so people can participate. Uh, there will be registration required. And uh, we are hoping that uh, many people who have some questions uh, will be able to join in. Uh, we will have a process of uh, taking those questions and we will have a panel of experts. Uh, have a good night.